Yo. Yo, 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 what's up, people? Whoa, 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 what's going on? This is way different than what we are used to. Yo, yo, guys, how are you doing? Welcome to the Saturday night live stream from MC Lido's kitchen here in Nara. We're gonna do a little bit, a little bit of cooking with MC Lido. Okay, guys, this is a totally new setup. Hold on, I have a feeling the microphone is like crazy, crazy loud. So let me turn that down just a wee bit here. Sorry, so sorry, guys. This is like still new to me. Um, okay, there we go, there we go. Check, check, check. Wow, sorry if I was blasted in your ears. Guys, this is like 
it's not completely starting from scratch, but it's kind of like I'm I'm new at this again. So anyways, welcome. How are you guys doing? Is it sounding better now? I hope I'm not busting out your ears. This is a, a little bit of a new setup. As you can see, I have like this rig, this I'm trying to do kind of like a live stream cooking show is the idea here. Something a little different than what you're used to. Trying to change things up and, you know, share things that I'm passionate about. So if you're here for the first time, hello, welcome, nice to see you. My name's MC Lido and my channel's all about Japan. We got travel, tips and tricks, um, Nihongo, Benkyo, like studying Japanese. Oh yeah, the, the microphone's at a weird angle. Maybe that's, that's fine. Sounds good, but okay. The, the microphone is at a weird angle, but let's, let's, let's work with it for now. Um, we're not going full ASMR tonight, but we're going to make it sound good. Yo, 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 Ario Gono is in the house, giving, the, giving him the air horns of welcome. Yes, these are the, the original air horns. No, we got this like, um, yo, yo, Ario, let's 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 sit, go back in the chat and let's make sure we got everybody in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, Johnny Kimchi in the house. I think he's on his bicycle. Don't uh, hurt yourself if you're coming back and listening to this at the same time. Yo, 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 my man, Con Coleman, all the way from Shiga. Head banging it in Shiga. I hear what you're saying. I was just listening to Black Pink uh, a little earlier before I got into Johnny Kimchi's uh, stream, and he was streaming from Tsuruhashi, which is the Korea town there in Osaka. Uh, on the way to Namba now, we passed by Tsuruhashi, and the other day, me and my wife were coming home. The doors open, and my wife didn't know what station was, but she woke up and she had a nap, and she woke up and said, are we at Tsurashi? Because supposedly you can smell the uh, Korean barbecue from the train station, and I think it was totally true. Yo, 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 we got Adrian Lee McGill in the house. What's up, my man? What's shaking? I know you're just dropping by for a short time, but that is totally cool. Excellent, guys. Nice to see you here. Yes, we got a little bit of a different rate. Let me go show you what's going to be happening tonight. We're going to be cooking a little bit in the kitchen, a little bit of cooking with MC Lido. I've got the top down. Uh, iPhone setup as you know and I have this a little bit on a swivel it's kind of um, uh, not such a strong connection so I got it like swiveling over to the uh, pans over here or the the hobs as they say in in uh, some other countries but what do we call it? the uh, stove top here I'm gonna try to kind of set this once we get things going but also you know the sound is gonna be a bit of an issue here too because like I don't know how the mic reacts I, I tried uh, doing a test with the chopping board but uh, yeah you guys let me know how that's gonna sound um, yeah but yeah guys this is kind of like the first kitchen uh, cooking stream I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys are hungry let me know in the chat what you guys are drinking or eating right now because I'm gonna I'm, I'm probably gonna get buzzed but I'm probably gonna crack open a beer while we're cooking Audio Gona is like knives and thumbs up. Yo, yo. Uh, Adrian Lee saying, uh, Lee McGill saying, going through Tsuruhashi Kintetsu line, you do get the kimchi. Uh, what is it? I'm trying to read here over the overlay. One second. Uh, the sense of deliciousness going on. Some of the finest trips when I was living in Hanazono. Yes, Hanazono. I think I passed by that station now too, by the way. So there's all these like names I've heard of that I'm actually passing through. Thank you for sharing that. Guys, if you guys can see my rig, it's so interesting. I, I finally got a nice kitchen. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I really like cooking. Uh, I heard eating is also really good for you. So I'm, I want to share my passion for cooking. Of course, we're going to focus a little bit on Japanese food, but not Japanese all the time. Um, I just kind of want to show you guys uh, some easy eats with uh, local ingredients here in Japan uh, and for you who are uh, studying Japanese hopefully if you guys have any questions about you know how do you say this in Japanese uh, what's this word maybe I can help you out at the same time I think uh, cooking is a really cool creative endeavor and something that you can eat at the end of it yes uh, Kong Coleman saying oh yeah I lived in Imazato oh yes one station up from Tsuruhashi for a few years the Eau de Korea is quite aromatic. Yes, yes, you can definitely smell it there. Um, watching JK's stream, John, Johnny Kimchi's stream uh, on the way here, it got me hungry too. I was like, ooh, I, I like some um, ojingo dopap, which is a uh, squid with fried squid with rice uh, or whatever um, bar Korean barbecue. It, it seemed like it was having a tasty, tasty uh, meal there later. Adrian say, Adrian saying. Drinking Suntry Rich Malt, the brown ale for autumn version. Awesome. That's awesome, dude. Let me let me show you guys what we got. By the way, my, my wife is in the background. She just came home. And so she's kind of like, you know, you know, bitter batter everywhere right now. 
Um, but yeah, I'm sure we're gonna break open the wine for her. I, I hope you guys don't mind this iPhone rig in the middle. I, I, I can move it over when we're doing uh, the main chat and I'll just swivel it by. Whoa, 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 Naoki in the house. How you doing, Naoki? Welcome to Lito's Kitchen. <laughs> A little bit of cooking tonight. Um, I ate sukiyaki nabe at Yoshinoya. Hang in there. Sukiyaki nabe at Yoshinoya. I think I've tried that once. Sounds delish, sounds delish. Awesome, you guys keep um, conversing in the background. I'm gonna be showing you what, I'm gonna already crack open a beer. So this is not like um, a professional cooking show. I'm not a trained chef or anything. I've actually just learned through cooking and lots of burnt rice and bad meals and watching a lot of YouTube videos and just picking up um, little tricks and tips here. I can just watch a, a YouTube video or look at a recipe and kind of follow my way through it. I'll have to cook it two or three times. But today we're gonna be cooking some kanji or okayu, and I found this really awesome recipe. I'm just gonna put it in the chat if I can. Um, hold on here. The, to the, it's actually a YouTube video that has a link to a blog. Let me see if I can get get on it here. Um, and then, yeah, you guys can follow along with me. So like, again, like I said, this is my first time doing the cooking stream. I don't have everything prepped exactly the right way. I'm not uh, as professional as like my friend Kevin Riley over there at Kuma's Kitchen. But maybe one day, yeah, maybe one day we'll get there. So let me type in the chat. This is the webpage made with Lao. And um, yo, yo, JJ, you made it, man. Bam, bam, bam. Let me get you on here. JJ in the house. Okay, it's not showing up on my feed yet. I will put it in. It's probably going to show up in a second. So yeah, but I, I saw you on the uh, actual homepage. So there seems to be a weird delay uh, going into my feed. But Jerome, I do see, JJ, I do see it. I made it. Um, yeah, there it is. Oh, no. Okay, there seems to be some weird delay in my comments here, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's, let's keep the show going on. Um, yeah, but drunk JJ, nice to see you, man. And you guys keep, uh, keep it going on. Uh, that, that is weird. Uh, yeah, so that's the link there that I just put up. And, uh, I, I don't see the other, uh, the other chats coming in for some weird reason, but that's okay. Let's keep moving on. Uh, in the worst case scenario, I will be reading the chat from a different screen. So bouncing back and forth, but you guys say hi to everybody. Oh, it's coming through now. Okay. So con cons went through. I don't see uh, JJ's maybe there was a bit of a confound. Maybe it just didn't go through, but yeah, I, I see you. Uh, I see you. I see you all. Yes. Yes. So welcome. Let me get my drink ready. Oh, snap. And another thing to let you know, here in Nara, things are actually... Hey, yo, Tokyo Paul in the house. What's up? And if I forgot about you, JJ, here's some horns for you. Awesome. Everybody, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to Alito's Kitchen. Just a little bit of cooking. <laughs> Uh, JJ, by the way, thank you. That is brilliant. I love the name, the new name, A Little Bit of Japan. I think I can use that for almost everything now, like A Little Bit of Cooking, A Little Bit of Lido, uh, maybe for a second channel idea. Sapporo Classic is made by the beer company Sapporo. You can usually only find it in Hokkaido. Let me put it on the iPhone, the top down. Woo! The swivel it around. Ooh, man, the iPhone, yikes, is just about to fall off the clip, so I hope that doesn't fall into like a frying pan or something. Yes, um, it's really rare to see it outside of Hokkaido, but recently I have been seeing it here and there. Do pick it up, it's about 200 yen or so. Um, it's a really nice alternative to like Asahi uh, Super Dry, if you're not into that, uh, but the regular Sapporo too. This is a bit more lighter and, and uh, smooth, I would say. So yeah, I'm gonna crack this open right now. Chika, would you like uh, some wine? Mm hmm she says, okay. and I. Do we have the, I'm gonna actually open up the wine. Guys, you know, most cooks uh, don't do this, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, okay. And again, I'm still getting used to this really nice kitchen that we have. So if you see me going off camera, it's I like going into, um, oh, so Chica, can you come and say hi? Say hi to everybody. Hey. Chica's right there, say hey, hey everybody, Chica. <laughs> yo, 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 oh, yo, it's William found in Japan in the house. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yes, pick and pick. P and P, as you know what I'm saying. Uh, yes, I've got the... You can see, I should take a picture later and put it on the Instagram. The, my uh, my setup here is so interesting. I've got like the, the MacBook on, a, on an Amazon box, uh, keeping it up. I, I've got my full-on rig that I usually do for the live stream den, den streams, but then I have like... Um, hold on, it's not... Removing that comment. There we go. It's... 
It is, it is. I've got uh, the stream deck on the um, kitchen counter here. You can see it right there. It's like right in front of me, so I'm able to switch up back and forth. It's so, so funny. But yeah, I was able to use this tabletop as the, um, as the, what should we call it, as a thumbnail. But yeah, we are gonna crack open this lovely. So uh, what I'm noticing here in Nara, even though I'm not like where the deer are, I'm at Ikoma, which is kind of in between, well, watch out with that corkscrew, in between Nara and uh, Namba. So Nara City is where you get Nara Park, all the deer. Ikoma is right in the middle. It's really convenient. It's only about 20 minutes uh, from the station. Yeah, yeah, JJ saying, ghetto stream up at Lido. Ghetto stream setup. Yeah, yeah, it's so ghetto, you know. Um, I'm still getting used to it. Oh, and Khan says, hello, Chica. Nice, nice. I'm uh, just giving you the, the Spock wave. Yeah, you gotta come later and show us your Spock after she <laughs> drinks, maybe. Yeah, guys, but um, stuff, some stuff is a lot cheaper here in the somewhat like rural area. It's not so rural. It's a 20-minute walk from the station. But the supermarkets, like things like mushrooms, will be like 100 yen as opposed to 200 yen. Um, yeah, it's the Sapporo Classic. I can find like the really rare beers don't get sold out as quickly as they would back in Shin Osaka. So the, the wine selection at the local supermarket, Mandai, has a very good selection of red wine. We got this for about about 10 bucks. Uh, this is, uh, let me put it on the overhead. We got a Res, Res Syrah, product of Spain. So I don't know how you would pronounce it. Is it Res? Reses, Reses, Reses in Katakana. Uh, Shira, Shira Reser, Reserva. Shira Reserva, and uh, this is a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, Karakuchi. Okay, so we're going to start off with a little bit of Japanese for you. Uh, when it comes to wine, you have Amakuchi, which is kind of the lighter body, and then Chukuchi, do you? You want, you want I know. So you, you have the light body and full body. The light body is Karakuchi, as in Karui. Mm. It's uh, Amakuchi, ne? Amakuchi, which is kind of like sweet, right? Mm. So sweet or light. And karakuchi, which is like karai or spicy, mm. um, is for full body. So she loves the full body one, and uh, I, I made sure that it is the full body. So we're gonna open this up on the stream. It's holy, uh, this supposedly won an a medal uh, award. Um, this is from a 2014 uh, vintage. All right, you guys are killing it in the chat here. Let me go back here. Um, I love I love reading you guys' comments. Oh, Ikoma, there's a nice mountain there. Yes. I went there once for a Manzai festival. Yes, so the local um, the local supermarket is called Mandai. Uh, if you guys don't know what Manzai means, it's kind of like um, a duo comedy pair. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, but it's called the supermarket is called Mandai. But uh, it, 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 I always think Manzai there. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, the mountain. Um, that's the one that you should definitely climb up. I will be doing some live streams as well as videos there. Um, I've actually already climbed it and uh, flew my drone up there. It was really nice. Hmm? You want to take my garbage? Mm -hmm. huh? uh, garbage. Sure, sure, thanks. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is a this is an okay cor cork opener, um, cork remover. But I'm gonna use this one, which is a little bit actually it's a lot easier. So let's let's use this one. But yeah, yeah, Ikoma, that's the mountain, and um, a lot of people are uh, moving out here, even like from Tokyo and stuff. And uh, Founder Japan saying, from what I've seen in your streams, if you ever ask Chika, do you want some wine? And she says no, then we all might need to be worried. That is <laughs> that is true. Chika, did you did you read um, Found in Japan's comment? I think it's very true. Oh no. Guys, I gotta focus here. It seems like the wine is, the cork is disintegrating. It's on the screen now. It's Found in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should read that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, William, you are, you are so correct. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, save that one. Um, I don't know if you guys know, you can see there the 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 cork was disintegrating on me and that's bad because like what happens is little bits and pieces of cork gets into I'm going to push it out now. You'll see it was starting to disintegrate. This was uh, a lucky lucky one that we saved, but yeah. So we got the wine open. Hopefully there's, no, there's a little bit of particles, particulates in there, but not too bad. She says, if you if I say, would you like some wine? And you say, no, thank you then we should worry. Ooh. That's what um, William from Found in Japan says. I'm gonna get a nice glass for Chika mm -hmm. here. We got this really nice mm -hmm. red tinted glass. This is from Ikea, one of their mm -hmm. limited uh, lines. And we've got the Brooklyn uh, Brewery, uh, one that they're giving out for free, those kind of omake or freebies that they give out mm -hmm. uh, often in summer and winter. So I'm giving her the little pour. I'm gonna do like the one-handed Sommelier pour. 
Yes, she does like her wine. Okay, Chica, I'm going to pass you the bottle so you can have it next to you. Yes. And uh, Chin Chin for, for Chica. Okay. All right. And um, yeah, Adrian's like, we found some very nice wines for very cheap in Amagasaki as well. Excellent. That's so good to know. Um, JJ saying, Lido, had my art director interview yesterday and was very positive. Nice. Uh, guys, I'm just going to crack this open while I read your comments. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. A little bit of ASMR going on here. Chica, are you going to pour me or I'm going to pour myself? Okay, Chica's going to pour me out here. All right. Well, a little bit of a preview. We got some gyoza coming in the house. All right. Chica, let's pour it under the camera. Can you come this way? <laughs> now she's falling. There we go. There you go. That's it. That's it. Pressure, pressure. Everybody's watching. All right. That's pretty good. Well, it was hard because uh, we moved mid-pour there. Thanks, sweetie. Okay, good job, good job. Wow, that's a lot of head, by the way. I'm going to show you guys on the main. That's a lot of head. A lot of head. Oh, that's not bad, though. Not bad. Okay, cheers, sweetie. Hi. Hey, minasan, everybody. Kanpai, kanpai. Ching. Ching, ching. Yeah, it's okay. Cheers. She's, she's hazukashi. She says it's she's shy. Mm, yes. Oh, that's nice. It's nice and light. Okay, I have a bad history of pouring beer on my expensive electrical equipment. So I'm going to put it on a separate uh, separate counter. We have another counter back there. Um, by the way, guys, like I, I like this kind of dramatic lighting. Um, you guys let me know. I'm going to turn on the full-on lighting. This is full-on lighting. We can have it full-on. Which do you guys like better? Do you like the more dramatic or the full-on? Let me know in the comments below. Dramatic, D for dramatic. F for full on. JJ, let me get back to your comment here. Had my art director interview yesterday. It was very positive. Nice. There was an even better surprise. I will be heading up a design team in India. Awesome. Congrats. Congrats. So frequent visits to there when things calm down. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations, dude. You, you sound like uh, you're killing it. That's really great news. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you for letting me share that on the stream. Everybody, uh, let's get some emojis, some some claps and uh, celebration emojis for JJ there. And um, yeah, Tokyo Paul's like, noise. Black noise. That's right. Today's, I was just watching Black Pink, a Black Pink interview. So I had the black and the pink. Um, eh, eh, Ikea, baby. Ikea. You got a lot of stuff here again. I think on a future shoot, I, I should not point to... It looks really dangerous because it looks like you can't see how far it is. It's not that far. Well, it's not that close either. Um, uh, I'm going to get a really nice knife from the Kitchen Dogu Yasu Street one day. A honcho. Nice honcho. Um, whatchamacallit. Uh, only in Japan there, uh, when he went uh, to... Kochi afterwards he was looking for nice knives and he kind of inspired me to want to get a good one uh, especially for cooking and stuff so these are okay and I think maybe my cooking technique could be better but um, yeah definitely want to get a nice nice quality Japanese knife uh, my brother Jerome my, my, my real brother my other brother Jerome is really into Japanese knives so he'd be really pleased to I think he did buy some when he was here so yeah let's do that as well yo 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 DX in the house Everybody, welcome to DX. Yo, 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 DX. Thank you for checking out the stream. Thank you for jumping on YouTube and being here, man. Now, I, I, I'm not your soccer this time. You are my soccer, kind of. Uh, we joke because I always like follow him on different streams uh, where we watch the same guy. So, DX, nice to see you, bro. How you doing? Um, Konkolm is like, Karai, uh, regarding liquor, it might be translated to dry. Ah, okay. I'm sorry. I like, um, um, Right, right, right. Like the uh, am I am I am I kuchi karai, right? Kara kuchi, right, right, dry. It could be like that too. Yeah. Um. Okay. I can't read those kanji, unfortunately. Uh, kind of like Chinese. You guys help me out because my kanji is really, really bad. I'm so ashamed, but I'm gonna uh, be honest there. My kanji is really bad. Um. Fun Japan. Yeah. Ippon Grand Prix is on now. Uh, my family uh, is helping at it, helping me at all. My family isn't helping me at all. I think that's what you're saying. Ipong Grand Prix. Wow. Okay, I hear you. Um, two comedians bantering. Oh, manzai. Is that is that it? Manzai. Yeah. Manzai. Not a whole ne. It's kind of like Chinese. Is there um the same type of manzai culture in um Chinese culture? Um, let me know. Maybe that's where it came from. Because I was always wondering where it came from. Um, yeah, interesting. Adrian saying Ikuma Mountain also had a theme park. Yes, with rides and such. At one point in time, I heard right, Adrian. It was abandoned. 
And then people actually could go up there and do urbex, right? Urban exploring. And I think some people went up there and took some photos. Um, you know, and they had 24 hour security. Uh, interesting stories. Or was it you who told me that? I'm not sure. Um, this is DX's. Oh, one is the Tsukomi and the other is the Boke. Yes, we are talking about Manzai. You are correct. Nice job. Uh, well done. Well done. Uh, pick and pick, I see now. That's right, right. The pick and pick. Let's go to the pick and pick, the, the PNP. You down with PNP? Yeah, you know me. All right, people are getting the Manzai. It might be called Slapstick. Uh, it's like Abbott and Cassell. Yes, that's what I was thinking. But Abbott also gets slaps. Ah, uh, yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Ikea Christmas Edition glasses. So I didn't know that. Thank you, JJ. Your red wine glass is the Christmas edition, maybe. Nice, nice. And Adrian's like, come by, come by, guys. Uh, cheers, right? Um, oh, yes, and Audio Gono, thank you. Let's cheer for Paul's birthday. Paul, I, I, I was so busy yesterday. Sorry, I saw the notification, but I couldn't find you easily. It's hard to find you on my Facebook feed. Um, but yes, happy belated birthday. Yay! I won't ask how old you are, but I know you're not that old yet. Uh, congratulations, man. Happy birthday. And thank you for being on my stream tonight, man. It's great seeing you every time. Uh, DX is saying, yes, every time uh, every time someone pronounces it as Ikea. That's right, right? A sweet swoons. They say Ikea. That's right, that's right. And in, in uh, Japan, they also say Ikea. That's right, Ikea. I know. Use a stereo mic so we can get ASMR soon, LL. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get on that one day, the ASMR stuff. I have been looking on it, but no licking the ears and stuff. I'm not gonna be an amaranth, no way. Um, and no hot tub stuff, I don't have the body. <laughs> all right, you guys keep it. Uh, you, my friend, are everywhere. Yes, yes, we meet each other all over the place, it's funny. Ario Gono in the house, I hope you had a good day. Guys, guys, what's up? Whoa, 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 Joshua Taylor in the house. Good evening. Fine people, getting the air horns of welcome. Welcome to the first ever kitchen stream. Stream A little bit of cooking, a little bit of cooking with Lido. Um, so let's do it. Adrian saying, my girlfriend Megumi told me tonight a recipe for cabbage rolled gyoza. Ooh, would like to try making it. Cabbage, roll cabbage, but gyoza. Mmm. Mm. I I want to I want to know that Adrian. Uh, let's... Similar ingredients. Uh, Chica is saying. Can you guys hear Chica in the background? Chica, can you say hello? Mm -hmm. Say hello. 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 <laughs> okay, she's shouting now. But you are probably guys can hear her in the background. So just wanna wanna you know check this the sound setup. But yeah, man. Um, the the ASMR stuff would be so fun. And Adrian, if you do make that recipe, let me know. I want to see pictures or. Maybe your live stream one day if you ever you know, start doing that stuff. But yeah, I'd love to check it out. Yes, come by, Josh Taylor. I know uh, you got in. Uh, I saw your comment right now, but come by, man. Come by. Come be. One more. Hi, round two. Fight. Mm. Round two. Round two. Round two. Round Not round two yet. Not technically. Chica's looking at me. Not round two yet. We're just on the first class. Come by, guys. Now, Ki Sakamoto's saying, come by. Nice, come nice. By. Okay, <laughs> JJ's uh, joking, bad poor. Okay, <laughs> all right, come by, come by. All right, guys, this is an awesome chat. You guys are so, so active. I love it, guys. Yes, Foundry Japan's like, wash the hands. Okay, um, so you guys, uh, <laughs> wash shoy, wash shoy, <laughs> DX, nice. Uh, oh, Paul for all seasons. I love watching Blackpink interviews. Yes, Paul for all seasons. Welcome to ever little bit of cooking with Lito, little bit of, Cooking a little bit of cooking. I gotta get used to that. Thank you, JJ, for for dropping that on me. Um, yeah, Blackpink interview. Oh my gosh, they're so interesting. And um, I just saw their. I'm I'm just really getting into them more and more. I like I heard about them through work related stuff. And um, yeah, I know they're famous and they're awesome and all. But yeah, the more I learn about them, the the more awesome they get. So yeah, thank you for um for shouting that out for sure. Yo yo, JK in the house is back. What? <laughs> Uh, um, so you guys keep it up, um, William's saying, oh my god, dude, Sakai has whale world famous knives. Um, they have a museum near my house and you can buy handmade knives and styles. Wow, I got my knives, all my knives from there. Wow, really? That's interesting. Let me know if you can um, either message me or so we can put uh, something in a link in the... Um, in the chat area, or I'll, I'll put it up later, hopefully. That sounds interesting. Maybe that's something we can uh, do a collab and go together and check out. Um, yeah, I wanna get your sharp, sharp knife skills and uh, 
uh, information uh, over here. Okay, everybody's keep doing. Um, yo, yo, how is this stream so pro? Well, I started with streaming, dude. No, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to cooking at one point. Once I wash my hands, you know what I'm saying, Amaran. Bath beer, <laughs> bath beer, dude. I I did a bath beer for my like audio interface. It was crazy, dude. Um, dude, can you give my girlfriend Megami a shout out? She is sitting here with her fwa pajamas, watching with me. Yo, yo, everybody! <laughs> Megumi in the house! Thank you so much, welcome! Yeah, Megumi in the house! Hi, Megumi, nice to see you. Konbanwa. Awesome, awesome. You guys are killing it. Hi, Megumi, I love it, I love it. Oh, Founder Japan's asking, are you using StreamYard now? Thank you for asking. No, I'm not using StreamYard, I'm using a Mac only software called Ecamm Live. And I'm actually all about the tech and sharing my experience with like gear and software and stuff. So if you have any of these questions, I'm actually really, really excited to, I'm passionate about tech and I wanna share my stuff. I know a lot of you guys out there are content creators as well. So any tips and tricks that can help you or help future travelers to Japan, I wanna do that. I'm using something called Ecamm Live. Uh, it is a subscription service, but it's Mac only, but it works really well with all my cameras. Like you can see the top down, the PNP that I'm doing here is easy to like, I'm going to float your text up and down. Oh, I got Josh Tyler in the background. Sorry, bro. Gotta, gotta get you out of there for a second. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a really intuitive, if you're into the Mac ecosystem, I highly recommend it. It's about, I think... Is it $200 a year, 200 US a year? But I got it on a special like year end sale, I think, or Christmas sale or something. And I get it for $100 a year every month. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to join up as their affiliate program. So if you do end up wanting to get it, if you're in the Mac ecosystem, let me know. I can give you my link. And I get a little bit of a kickback there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Oh, okay. Hold up. I was just saying how, how easy it is, but now something's, something's going funky. Oh, okay. I know what it is. It's the iPhone connection went went off. It wasn't the, um, it wasn't the stream itself. So hold on. Let me just. So, again, it's uh, it's not the software itself. It's connecting to the iPhone that makes it kind of uh, weird at times. Yeah, and we're getting this on and off thing. I have a feeling it's the actual cable. So, anyways, we will get back to that in a second. But thank you for asking. I'm really, really passionate about sharing my stuff there. Whoa, what's going on? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, it seems like the iPhone's back now. Let's see. Okay, the top down is back. Okay, so I was having some intermittent things. I don't know exactly what went on. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. But um, I am like on a couple different hubs here. I'm on a th Thunderbolt hub for my cameras and my audio. I'm on a USB hub that's connected to that. And maybe the USB hub isn't fully powered. I couldn't find the... It's a powered USB um, thingy. Yeah, yeah, and again, my iPhone is kind of tri get, glitching out on me for a second here. But yeah, anyway, round two. Um, whoa, whoa, Korean American expat, formerly known as the the YouTuber called the King Lee Wei. The King Lee Wei, is that right? Yo, 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 Korean American expat. Nice to see you. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Um, thank you for being here. While I'm, I'm glitching out a wee bit, but it's all good. Let's glitch out together. Yeah, lots of cooking on go <laughs> here. Yeah, guys, we gotta get to the cooking. Um, this is just the, the pre-banter. It's been almost like half an hour. I love it though, I love it. Say hi, Lido, everybody saying hi to you. Lemmy from Japan in the house. We're just doing the warm-up. It's like just the pre-game, um, pre-game -pre like ritual stuff. Oh, thank you. This is not my studio. This is actually my my new home in Nara. And that's one of the reasons I chose it, but thank you for saying so. We, I can't show you the rest of the house yet because it's in shambles, like we're still unpacking and stuff, but I'm so happy. I, I just, last minute, I was just like, I'm gonna cook dinner anyways tonight and I might as well just stream it. So let's give it a try. I wanted to try this out. So you guys let me know if you find this um, interesting because I don't see a lot of, we can call them J streamers doing a lot, not too many, unless they're like into food and stuff. A lot of them doing tasting, but. Maybe not a lot do cooking, so maybe tap into that. But thank you so much for being here, Lemmy. I really appreciate your um, your comment. Guys, say hi to Lemmy in the house. JJ saying, Fisker's knives are phenomenal, but they are very expensive and are from Finland. Wow, wow. Fisker's knives. Wow, that's interesting. I, I didn't know about that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and uh, she says, thank you. And Komaba. Thank you so much, Megumi. Guys, we're going to get to the 
the kick cooking part of this, I do, I promise you we will. Okay, so let's see what's on the menu. Um, there is a link in the chat uh, that I sent up. If, if any of the mods can repost that, because maybe some people haven't seen that, that's the one I'm going off of right now. So what I did is, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of story here. So, uh, you know, as you guys know, we moved to Ikea. Uh, moved to Ikea, what am I talking about? We did not move to Ikea, we moved to Nara. And when we moved to Nara, we went to Ikea to get a few more things for the house. And one of them was, oh shoot, again, it's, it's okay, yeah, it's cutting in and out. It's like, oh, 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 oh. oh wow, okay, well, there we go, okay, okay, just, just give me one second, one second, guys. I, I think the audio is not cutting out. I just want to see what's going on here. There's something, yeah, I have a feeling it has to do with the USB um, hub because I can't find the actual power cable that goes into it. But anyways, I bought this nice ceramic pot and it's like the medium sized one. Okay, can you turn that down? Thanks, sweetie. And um, she's just checking the feeds um, on her phone. And um, because the one that we have now, the set we have now is actually from Amway. And I don't know if you do Amway, that, and that's fine. I'm not saying anything about Amway, but I cannot cook with that kitchenware. Anything I cook in there will burn. And even Chica says like, oh, you don't have to use any, it's so good, you don't have to use any oil. So I don't use oil and it burns, it's just like black. And I, I, I just want to use regular cookingware, like frying pans and things like that. I'm not like a trained chef or anything. Oh, maybe one day I'll get a copper pot or whatever uh, for other things. But we got this nice, uh, relatively cheap ceramic one. And in the, the booklet that you get in Ikea, it says to actually cook congee in it to allow the rice to kind of soak into the pores and give the pot a little bit more longevity. So... I've never cooked kanji, or in Japanese it's called okayu, and I looked on the internet for it, and uh, this uh, re this recipe came up, which kind of reminded me of Filipino kanji, um, and is has a very similar taste. Yes, I did not cook it properly at first. I, I burnt it. It was bad. But the second time, third time, I've done it about three or four times now. It's it's amazing. So this is actually Hong Kong style kanji. It's uh, Japanese kanji is a bit more simple. Not too many ingredients are in it. Maybe it's more plain. Just plain. It's just plain, basically. Maybe you put a umeboshi, a salty plum on it, or a few other condiments. But I think a Hong Kong style kanji is much more um, flavorful and something similar to a Filipino style dish. Um, I forgot what the name is. Uh, they use like saffron and stuff in it. But it's very similar, very similar taste. So I really like this and I want to share it with you. But there is the, um, the overlap there, kan kanji and okayu. Now, in, uh, in Japan, okayu is normally eaten when you have like stomach problems or when you're like have a cold and you need something um, easy on your digestive system. And uh, in North, in, uh, I think in Hong Kong, and I mean, I've eaten some kanji in, in Hong Kong style restaurants in Canada, uh, it's usually served uh, like just, I guess, for breakfast. We can have it for breakfast or sometimes for dim sum, but you can have it at night too. It's, it's amazing. Um, okay, I'm just scrolling through the chat here, so I have to be a bit more selective so we can get to the cooking part. Johnny Kimchi is asking, what camera are you using? What cameras are you using? Okay, so the main camera is a Sony a7C. Yes, I upgraded. It's a, an expensive camera. It's about $2,000 US. I got it used for a little bit um, cheaper. Uh, I, at first, when I was doing my live streams, I used uh, a can uh, Canon M50. The, the white stormtrooper version. JJ, I think, is that the one that you just got? I saw a, a few pictures on your Instagram. And for the top down, I'm just using my iPhone. It's the iPhone 12 Pro uh, Max, and that's what I use to stream with too, but it's great, it works great. It just hooks up into the computer and into the software really easily. Uh, it's usually great when it doesn't glitch out, but thank you for asking, Johnny Kimchi. And if you want any uh, advice about, you know, getting a really nice camera for these type of indoor streams or whatnot, I would really uh, recommend something like the Canon M50 or the newer Sony ZV, that's ZV as in victory, uh, ZV1. That seems to be a really good 4K one uh, that doesn't break the bag. Yeah, so there you go. JJ saying, Lido is going to create chaos in the kitchen. Oh, I want to raid your cooking stream. Like Gorgon, Gordon Ramsay. Oh man, Gordon Ramsay. I've seen him on Hot Wings and stuff. Uh, it's it's hilarious. It's He's hilarious. Oh, what a rock star. What an absolute rock star. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is pretty at first thought. I thought you were using OBS. Nice streaming program. Thank you for, for saying that. I really appreciate it there. 
um, Korean American expat. Nice, nice. Okay, so that's what we're cooking tonight. The main thing, let's go back to the top down. Hopefully it doesn't glitch out. The main thing is uh, I've got some kanji going on. We're going to be doing Hong Kong style. So it, it asks for a bit of chicken uh, as well as ginger. Now, I bought this ginger about a, a week ago. It's only 100 yen in the supermarkets here. A lot cheaper than it is in, in Shinosaka. But I also found this myoga. And myoga is in the family of ginger. I, I often see it in Japanese supermarkets. It has a more mm, kind of floral or kind of a more lighter and subtle taste rather than like a more harsher ginger. I'm sure they're both going to be lovely. Uh, you, you will, you'll kind of slice them into thin strips and put them in. And they don't really cook that much. So when you get a bite full of it, it's so flavorful and aromatic and really warms you up. Yeah, so there we go. Um... Guys, guys. Oh, nice. Oh, Taiki, Haruki. Uh, Chika, can you help me read this kanji? Konnichiwa atte itteru. Konnichiwa. What's this, this kanji wa? Kanji? Kare namae wa? Haruki. Daiki. Haruki Daiki. Ah, uh, go go yon san. Konnichiwa, konbanwa. <laughs> Genki desu ka? Thank you for joining the stream. Arigato. Um, hajimemashite. Oh, eh, Taiki Haruki, Haruki Taiki no tame ni Welcome to the live stream. You have the air horns of welcome. Awesome. Okay, I'll be listening to your live tonight. Yes, yes, I hope I provide you with some good um, background music. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I would like... <laughs> Adrian picked up on my mistake. Sometimes I would like to move to Ikea. Plenty of couches and stuff, yes. All right, guys, you guys keep it going on. Taiki Haruki says, I want to eat together できますか。あ、残念ながら、まあ、一応あの、あの、見てるところに、なんか、バーチュアルで一緒に食べましょう。あ、その後に一緒に食べると思う。So he was just asking, is it possible for me to eat together with you? And I'm like, yeah, kind of virtually though. Um, but yeah, let's let's get to a bit of the cooking and after I get uh it going, uh yeah, we're going to we're going to definitely uh, look at the chat again. But I, I have an interesting uh, reply for JK here. He's like, no wonder the Sony is so crisp. Yes, the Sony is doing good. I have it at, I think I have it at 1440 or a really high resolution of 1080p. I've got some pretty good lighting on a softbox here. Um, what else? And um, yes, it has a bigger sensor. There's a full frame sensor, so it's a lot more crisp. With the M50, you can still get pretty good quality. It does look grainy, but it wants a lot of light. You need to give that a lot of light to get it, give that crispiness um, if you can. Yeah, that's what I found too. But yeah, that's why I kind of outgrew it. Nice, nice. And JJ is saying, yeah, I also have the M50 Mark II. Nice. Intro camera for urban street photography. Just collecting nice lenses. Yes, that's great. Keep it going. I mean, it's such a great form factor. So small. And uh, all right. And uh, Founder Japan is also using the M50 Mark II. Great, great guys. Yeah, if that's your first camera, I, I think it's a great one. Um, it wasn't my first camera, but it was my first camera for YouTube and stuff, right? I, I come from a little bit of a photography background. So I had other, um, what did I have? I had, um, not Sony, not Canon, Pe not Pentax. Eh, what was it? Um, Nikon, I had Nikon or Nikon in J Japan, they say. Um, but yeah, it, it was great. And it, a lot of overlap. So if you're in a photography, it's definitely gonna help you out with everything with YouTube as well. Mukbang time! Ooh, oppa, mukbang time! Okay, so let's get to the cooking. Um, so we've got that as the main, the kanji, Hong Kong style kanji as the main. We've got some, uh, what is this? Pirikara gyoza. So this is um, kind of really e super, super easy to cook, just in the frying pan. My iPhone is glitching out again. We're gonna glitch, 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 glitch. And while it's glitching, let's go back to the main camera. Let's go borderless and then zoomed in to the matrix. Um, hopefully it will, it'll come back to life at some point. I gotta like reconnect it here. Glitch, 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 glitch. That's no good. Okay, let me just reconnect her. All right, hopefully we're gonna go. Let's get to the top down. Come on, no glitches. There we go. So that's for the main um, backup plan. If things go wrong, Chico, can you pass me the pizza? And I have a feeling like my cooking does take a while because I'm not totally like I don't have everything in place The, the mise en place is not completely uh, there, but we do have a backup plan This is a discounted pizza from about uh, 980 yen to 678 yen So 
about a 10 bucks. It went down to almost 7 bucks. This is a Napolifu pizza, Zuaigani no pizza. So this is Zuaigani. It's actually got crab in it. So yeah, you can see the little, little chunks and bits of crab. This is the, um, this is the backup. You might eat a little bit of that there. Um, wow, your camera angle changes automatically. No, it's me pushing the, the buttons here. I have um, a little stream deck here. Yeah, if you guys are interested in all like the behind the scenes stuff, I would love to share my setup with you and make videos to help you guys as well kind of uh, level up your product, um, not productivity, your production value. I I'm still learning this at the same time, but yeah, I'd love to share what I can with you guys. I together, we are strong. Let's help each other out. Um, William saying, uh, yes, I use a Canon 70D, but screw the sensor. Ah, I have to uh, heat it up before it starts working? What? That's weird. I have to heat it up. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, guys, let's get to it. Um, these are some things from the Only In Go Japan uh, Kochi thing. We got a little bit of yuzu kosho, so uses that citrus thing. We might use this as a kind of a condiment later for the kanji. Let me turn this off. Um, and uh, kosho means pepper, yuzu kosho. Shio kosho is salt and pepper. And then you've got some really nice sake from there. So, hmm, can I put it to, oh, oh we, got, we got two. So was, yeah, she was there with me. So anyways, um, we're going to get cooking. Get, let's get cooking. Pizza saying, uh, <laughs> pizza saying, I'm so like out of it. Adrian saying, uh, great backup plan. So what we need to do is we need to start boiling the water. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'll, I'll have it off screen. You guys saw the kettle or the uh, ceramic pot. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, later, once we get that going, I will um, move, I will swivel the camera over so you can see what's going on on the hobs or on the, the, the stove top there. But what we gotta do is we gotta slice up this, okay, the black, pink, pink knife is going back into the, the drawing board or the, the little, the cool little, I love this thing. I got this at Ikea. It's a little like knife holder. No, not your conventional one. They go, shh, just do that like that. So that's over there. Hmm? Not yet, not yet. I'm gonna turn it off for now because it's not boiling yet. Thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. All right, so we gotta slice some ginger, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go half and half with the ginger and the myoga. Um, so I wanna kind of maybe separate or get a little bit of a different taste. We already know what the ginger um, kind of tastes like before. Um, yes, uh, Adrian's saying pizza, great backup plan. I buy the cheapest pizzas from the supermarket and add ham, onion, tomato, and cheese. Yeah, I do that with my ramen too. Like I kind of level up the ramen. Okay, so what we're gonna do? The um, let me just get a few things out of the bay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it off to the side. What are you doing? You want some pizza? Okay, help me out. Thanks. Okay, so if you just help me out with that. So yeah, you just cut off the ends a little bit if they are hard. I think actually these are okay. Um, oh yeah, just doing a quick wash. Yeah, oh, get rid of the corkscrew. Yeah, that's kind of, woo. Yeah, now you guys know how I cook. I live in on the edge, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we're just gonna cut, cut this into really thin slices here. As thin as possible. Okay. It doesn't have to be um, super, super duper thin as it will get softer. It's already pretty soft, but mm, very aromatic. Right? And then you can cut it into more yeah, yeah, just like that. Wow. Nice. Chika is the backseat chef. Mm -hmm. So, Ushira no, no isukara. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> you, you never say this when I'm usually cooking, but today suddenly, I think Chica what just wants to be part of the whole cooking experience. <laughs> She's like, I can cook too. Yes, I know you can sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Just gonna peel a little bit of the ginger here. Not often. So when when Chica cooks, it's a special thing. I'm I'm the main chef of the house. So you guys, let me know. Um, Okay, I'm not gonna um, touch the computer to show the the, the chat. I am, I will be reading it out. So JJ saying, "Told you, a little bit of chaos, a little bit of chaos in the kitchen. That's your cooking segment. Yes, a little bit of chaos. Can I have food? It's usually not this chaotic. Can I have food? Um, not now, sweetie. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this, this 
13 people a good showing. Yes, 13 is the, the lucky number. Guys, by the way, thank you so, so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it. If you're just uh, tuning in right now, this is a little bit of chaos in uh, Lido's Kitchen here in Nara. We're doing the first ever cooking stream. I hope I don't burn anything or cut myself or whatever, but if you're getting value from this and you enjoy watching me um, make some chaos, in the kitchen, please do hit a like and consider subscribing because yeah, I'm going to be coming out with different content uh, in the next coming months. I was super busy with work and stuff until recently and uh, for the next couple months, I finally have a little bit of time to settle down here in Nara and um, just really focus more on YouTube and stuff. So yeah, let's, let's line this up here as well guys let me know in in your um own personal space are you are do you like cooking are you into cooking um who is the main cooker in your family the chef in your family and uh yeah what's what would you say your best dishes um until now my best dish is like um lasagna i'm really good at cooking lasagna um but yeah you guys let me know okay so we have a little bit of both we have the myoga and the ginger, as you can see there. I'm just gonna put them off to the side. And what else do we have? We're gonna have some, um, oh, okay, glitching out, glitching out. It's, it's glitching, glitching, glitching. When it glitches, I'll try to just move back to the main and have to reconnect it when it, when it wants to. It's kind of finicky. Okay, it's coming back. Um, we're gonna also gonna put some dashi, and this is tori dashi. Um, so this is chicken uh, stock, and this is in a kind of dry form and that will uh, mix with the water to give it. And when I um, kind of put things in, I just kind of, uh, I eyeball everything. I'm not exact, I'm like, you know, five millimeters, milliliters for a, a teaspoon and 10 for a tablespoon. No, I just get a small spoon and just kind of put it in. All right, so what we're waiting for now is for the water to boil. And uh, in the meantime, we can be preparing our other stuff. Normally I would have this all prepared in advance, but. Uh, again, time time wise, it just kind of came like that. So, yeah. Oh, another backup thing we have here is do do do, mentaiko pan. So this is like a baguette. It's a French baguette, and with like a little bit of mentaiko, which is spicy cod roe. Is that right? Spicy cod roe paste flavoring, mentai France. So that's another thing. I think this will be really good with the congee, actually. Um, I think in Hong Kong, like uh, Hong Kong style restaurants, they'll have a type of Chinese donuts, like a fried donut that's almost like a baguette, a little bit uh, softer. And then sometimes that's eaten with congee. So I thought this could be a nice compliment to that. Yeah, but you guys let me know in the chat what's going on. Adrian's saying, I cook by eyeball as well with fingers if I am not careful. I gotta be careful because like I'm, it is chaos in the kitchen right now because I usually don't talk when I'm cooking, right? I'm just like thinking in my head what to do. So. I get, you gotta make sure I don't cut myself, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna be cooking some meat now. I'm not cooking some meat, cutting some chikian. So I'm gonna use a different cutting board. This cutting board in Japanese is called a manaita. Manaita, okay? So we're gonna use a little bit of a different cutting board here. Put this over to the side. Paul for all seasons, like, I appreciate all the back of food. Yes, you gotta have contingencies, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have contingencies. And also, my cooking takes a while. Um, I'm not the fastest, but when it comes out, it's good. But, um, ooh. Can you guys hear that? That's bowl sozoku. If you guys were on that stream walking with me um, to the hotel the other time, you saw the biker gang. So Nara is super quiet um, compared to like Shinosaka and stuff. It's super quiet here, so you can hear every little sound. Um, you know, if, if a motorcycle goes by on the highway around 1 a.m., I can hear that thing all the way through. It's crazy. JJ saying, I love cooking mainly Italian, Scottish, and Southern style American. Nice. And also some Asian foods. Cut to cut it. Nice. Teriyaki dishes. I love baking cookies though. Nice. Thank you for letting me know. My cousin is super awesome at baking. He is a wizard at baking. All right. So what do we have here? We have some chicken. This is chicken breast. It's a tori momo. Tori momo niku. Niku meaning meat. And uh, yeah, it was uh, about 100 yen per... For 100 grams, I think 98 yen per 100 grams, and uh, yeah, we're gonna. The key with this recipe is you want to cut it very thinly because it's going to be cooking in the uh, rice uh, as it turns into congee. So we're not really boiling it at a high heat, and that's what I didn't know last the first time I did it. So, whew, yeah, 
That's all. I'm gonna turn the the flames to like to like a max right now. All right. So washed off the knife, and um, yeah, you could use this whole whole thing if you wanted to. Uh, some people I've seen this. Some people wash their chicken. I'm not into that because like I think it, it gets all the chicken bacteria and stuff all over the the kitchen sink, and I'm just kind of a bit of a phobe, have a phobia of that. So I will just kind of cut it as it is. I think it's fine to to cut it really thinly without washing it. Some people do wash their chicken though. I don't. So you let me know. Do you wash your chicken or not? Um, morning, Lido. Hey, Anthony, what's up, dude? I would put your comments, but unfortunately, I'm cutting raw chicken right now on the uh, chat. But nice to see you, bro. Good morning to you. Um, JJ saying cinnamon rolls. Now you're talking dirty. <laughs> I'm missing a few comments here and, here and there, guys, so I apologize if I don't see you. Um, it's kind of like, I'm busy, but at the same time, I'm watching. Okay, so you really want to cut it really thin. And uh, you put this... Oh, by the way, Tony, thank you for joining. We are just um, making some food here at uh, Lido's Chaotic Kitchen. A little bit of chaos. A little bit of chaos in the kitchen, for sure. And what we're going to make is a congee. So congee is like a rice porridge. Think of it as, as like... Kind of like a rice soup, but a little bit more thick. And then, um, right, right. We're going to actually marinate this for a bit. And we're going to put this in, I think it's like soy sauce, some salt maybe, uh, oyster sauce, or in Japan they sounds like usta sauce. Okay, so skin there. If you want to cut this really thin, that's the key point with this chicken here. Some people don't like the chicken skin. I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, I think it's all that fat there that people are afraid of, but fat is what gives you the flavor. You know what I'm saying? Mmm, cinnamon rolls, Anthony is saying. Um, JJ, around LOL, I never stop talking dirty. Cinnamon rolls are a weakness of mine. Cinnamon rolls, yes, yes. We recently stayed at um, the Karaksa Grande in Shinosaka because it was like kind of moving and stuff, and I didn't want to go back to Nara. And, and hotel prices are super, super cheap right now. Like, normally that place would be almost 300 250 US uh, a night. Okay, so the, the water's boiling. I'm gonna let that boil. I'm gonna turn on the fat exhaust fan here so you can, guys can see. I'm just gonna kind of show you what's going on. I'm not gonna put it right above the, the heat, but you can see the, the steam is coming out there, right? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna take the lid off and we're gonna dump the rice in a second. So let me go wash my hands. Oh, Khan's saying, I haven't cooked since forever. My wife is quite a magician with food, as well as an unrepentant sloth. <laughs> she cooks, I clean. Fair trade. I hear you, I hear you, man. Okay, hands are clean now. Um, let's go to the main for a second. Uh, I want to go back to the chat. Uh, Found Japan, I have wanted to, to uh, cook southern style barbecue for the longest time. You're saying that, right? You want to go up there by the Yodagar River? Let's do it. Some Filipino friends, Filipinos in the house! Yo, 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 you're looking at one of them. Some Filipino friends were like, uh, let's make a lechon. Uh, if you guys don't know what lechon is, it's a really great pork barbecue. Um, really crispy on the outside and juicy and tender on the inside. Um, but it costs so much to do here. Maybe one day at Yodogawa Barbecue. Takes like 16 to 19 hours. Like, yeah. Um, I, I know in um, Vancouver, my, we can go to the, the kind of Chinese grocery store and we can buy a whole ready-done lechon. They'll, they'll sell it like that. It's crazy. It's a scientific fact. The drum saying it's a scientific fact that chicken skin makes you dumb. Doesn't stop me eating it though. <laughs> okay, how is everybody? Let's keep asking. I have a recipe called pineapple barbecue ribs, dude. That sounds amazing. I love using pineapple. A lot of people don't like pineapple on their pizza, but I do. Um, and I I make a really mean pineapple fried rice, by the way. So yeah, awesome, awesome. So we got the rice. Uh, the water's boiling. I'm gonna put in the rice now. So I'm gonna refer to the recipe again. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, the recipe says how much rice? One cup of rice. So what I did first is I put way too much rice. So I'm just gonna go one cup of rice. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like here. Okay, I got the, the bag of rice. I don't even have it in a container or anything. I just get like keeping it in the bag. So I go through it quite a lot. And I got this metal metal cup that I think 200 grams is one cup. And I'm just gonna fill it right to the top, right to the top. Yep. And I'm probably just a few grains over and then I'm going to dump it right into that boiling water and that's going to boil for 25 minutes 
Okay, and the key with this one is say they say don't stir it so much because if you stir it, it will stick to the bottom of the uh, ceramic pan. So yeah, and you stir it a little bit just so that it gets it gets agitated. We don't want to stir it too much. I think what it does is it'll um, kick off some of the particulate of the, the the grains, and then that will start sticking to the bottom of the pot. So I'm just gonna get um, a wooden spoon. Yeah, I already burnt this new IKEA spoon. I didn't know. Getting used to this really nice kitchen setup we have here. So yeah, I'm just gonna swing her over a wee bit. You can't really see me, the whole thing. I'll, I'll, I'll get this fully squared off once uh, this gets going. But yeah, you just wanna slightly just kind of move it around a bit. You don't wanna stir it heavily. It's gonna start to stick. Yeah, a little bit of chaos. You got you got me, JJ, for sure. For sure. In Scotland, we have a soda called Irn Brü, and, and Irn Brü gla gla glazed ribs are delicious. That's a, that's a tongue twister for me. Glazed ribs, glazed ribs. Uh, it's harder than uh, a roll of lino linoleum, a roll of linoleum. Can you guys try that? Uh, check out JJ's channel. Um, any mods in the house, can you guys shout out JJ's channel right now? And uh, he has this really interesting tongue twister um, video about a roll of linoleum, a roll of linoleum. Can you guys, someone type it in the chat and um, shout out his channel, please. We got so many awesome uh, uh, YouTubers and streamers. I just want to shout out everybody. Everybody gets a little bit of a shout out when they come to my stream. Know me saying? Um, it is like Anthony Lock. Good to hear. Peace, brother. Nice. You know, love your stove top. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. I mean, I finally feel like I have a real kitchen now. Um, so just to give you a little bit of background of this house. So it's about a forty-year-old house. It's you know j traditional Japanese wooden construction, but the the owner of it, the newer owner of it, has renovated it. And he owns his own little renovation company. He's not the renovator, I think he just manages it. But this was kind of a, a project for him. Um, ah, Iron Brew, I'm sorry. Iron Brew is how you pronounce that, you know. Thank you so much. Um, I just I just uh, pronounce it as I read it, you know. Iron Brew, Iron Brew, is that it? No, Iron Brew. And um, so he renovated it a bit. And yeah, I think the stove top is new. The kitchen counter is new. A lot of interesting, funky things. Once we get settled in, guys, I will give you guys the full-on tour. I, we got this house purposely, on purpose, like with YouTube in mind. So there's gonna be some really awesome things we can do actually from the house itself. So like in those cold months and stuff, hopefully we can do some cool things and have some cool backgrounds here. Korean American expat saying, oh, oh, you got the wooden spoon. If the Filipina Tita has that in her hands, run for your life. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Yeah, I'm, I'm weird like that. Like, I know I'm like Canadian Filipino, like I'm Filipino, you know, born in the Philippines, raised in Canada. I never really dated Filipino girls. Maybe I wasn't into them. I don't know. But I hear from all my friends who date them. They're awesome, but they're also crazy. I mean, I mean, my mom's a Filipino girl, so I'm not trying to put anyone down, but that's just what I hear from people. So is that true? I mean, I, I don't have any experience with that. Sorry. Um, okay, so we got the chicken already. Um, I can just kind of put this off to the side. Maybe I'll put it on an actual plate here and uh, disinfect it. Oh, okay, we're gonna move this to a plate. Should've used the knife for that one. It's all good. It's all good when you're in the chaos kitchen hood. All right, there's, um, this product that they have in Japan is basically like kitchen bleach. It's called kitchen haita. Kitchen haita. I don't know what the haita means actually. Is it like faita? But it's not faita, it's haita. Kitchen haita. Does anyone know what kitchen haita means? Kitchen haita te doi ni desu ne? Namo. I use it, I'm gonna show it right now. It's kitchen haita. And it's bleach for the kitchen and you spray it on things that you need to disinfect, like, um, you know, cut meats. Uh, the manaita, the cutting board there. So I'm going to just spray it there and give it about 30, 60 seconds to soak. Um, but yeah, it has that kind of really chemical bleach smell. You don't want to have it too much in the corner. I will you know, wash that off. Okay, so we got the chicken ready. Um, the water's boiling. The rice needs uh, about probably another 20 minutes or so. 
um, before I can start adding a few other ingredients. So we got the ginger, we got this. We're gonna make a marinade for the chicken while this is boiling. So it's a perfect time, just enough time, about half an hour as you wanna leave it in for. So yeah, um, hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, what happened is uh, it, it, it kind of glitched out again. Hold on. There we go. Are we in? Are we in? It's probably glitching out. Sorry, guys. I, I apologize for all the glitchiness um, that's going on. Is it, are we back? No, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, we got the black screen of death. Kitchen fighter? Is that what it means? Kitchen fighter. Yeah, but it, it's a ha, not a fwa. But anyways, okay, I think. Oh, where's the iPhone? No, okay, I'm gonna reconnect the iPhone. One second, guys, Let's see if this works. I gotta find that um, cable for the USB hub. I think that's the problem, probably because it's underpowered. It's searching for power there. All right, so we got that going on. We got our oyster sauce here. Um, what else? Yeah, we are back, yeah, Siri is on break. Siri broke the internet, that's it. Um, what else do we need? Uh, we got the chicken broth again. That's gonna be for later when we add things. Uh, what else are we gonna need? I think we're gonna need soy sauce. Let me double check. Cornstarch. I'm gonna get that. Chicken bouillon, vegetable oil. Und. What else? Water, ginger, green onion, cilantro to taste. Yeah, so we're just gonna make the, um, we're gonna make the marinade now. So if I remember, the marinade is oyster sauce, a little bit of water, the chicken bouillon, and then vegetable oil. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Again, it's kind of crapping out on me, isn't it? Oh man, that sucks. That sucks. It'll, it'll come and go. Have you ever argued with Siri? Um, no, but sometimes Siri seems like she's mad at me. She's like, hey Siri, how's it going? And then, oh no, it's probably gonna trigger it. It did. And then she'd be like, huh? She just said, not too shabby. Thanks for asking, is what she just said. Glitching a bit. Yeah, I apologize guys. Again, it's it's probably the lack of power to the USB hub. That's what I'm imagining. But we are back intermittently. We're like we're like the Matrix guys. We're like, was that deja vu? I think I saw the black cat. Well, when did you see the black cat? Oh, it was glitching. So, oh, that's a deja vu. That's in the Matrix. You know, that's when the the, the machines uh, reboot something. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's make that marinade. So we're gonna need uh, a colander. Is that what they call it? I just think of it as like a metal bowl. We use a metal ball, and then what we're gonna do is you put the soy sauce and usta sauce to the side. The soy sauce over there, right, right. See? Again, I'm I'm just uh, I'm just eyeballing everything. We, in Japanese, you say teki teki ryo teki to. Um, you have to be careful if you call out to the unnamed one. People are using speakers that might register the people's devices who are watching. Yeah, I've had that before too. Chica, I'm, I'm eyeballing it. Tekiryo. Tekiryo. So, wazato tekiryo no koto wa o dasou to mo. So, I wanted to teach you guys about how to say, like, I'm eyeballing it. Tekiryo. If you know that word teki or tekito, tekito means like, mm, just kind of half assing it, I guess. Um, Tekiryo means kind of like eyeballing. You're just kind of eyeballing. I'm, I'm just going to even eyeball the amount of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. I'm just doing one kind of heaping tablespoon of that. And then, okay, and then you're supposed to put the chicken in there. Right, right. The chicken goes in. Okay. And you kind of mix that up a bit. You use the spoon or your hand or whatever. And then after that, you're gonna add the cornstarch. And that's what's gonna allow the outside to be a little more crispy as it boils in the congee. Um, again, you wanna get that chicken as thin as possible, okay? All right, so we got that going on. Wash your hands again. Uh, Adrian said, ah, pink would be too intimidating for the girls. I was thinking that would be hilarious all the JTubers in the collective. Nice, I like that, the collective. Had a laser tag team event. Oh dude, I'm gonna one up you on that. Um, maybe not laser tag, but there's this thing, it's like a virtual thing. I think they do it out there uh, in a few spots. I think they do it out there in Osaka, near Expo City. It's called um, Hado, as in like Hadouken, you know? Um, it's basically VR, 
laser tag, but you, you shoot fireballs at each other. I don't know if you guys have seen that. If any of the mods can find what Hado, H-A-D-O-U, and if you can send a, a link, that'd be awesome. You can check that out. Yeah, but I'm down with you. I'm down with you, man. That'd be cool. Let's get it going. Okay, so you let that marinate. You're gonna put a little bit of. Uh, actually, you don't need the dashi here. You need the um, cornstarch. Where is it? Thank you, sweetie. Uh, sweetie's got it going on. And yeah, this says is just gonna give it that little kind of like that batter on the outside. So you want? They say they push push the chicken to one side, add the cornstarch, okay, a little bit more, and you want to add a little bit of water and then kind of mix it in with your hands until like there's basically no water left. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you, sweetie. And get a wee bit of water. Just a little bit of water. One, that's a little bit smaller. Two. I'm also scared. She's my sous chef. What? Sous chef, baby. Sous, sous chef, the under, under chef. She's the assistant. Yeah. Well, yeah, you technically are an assistant, but the, the word is sous chef. Sous chef, the under chef. Yeah. Uh, you all should to Utah. Okay, I'm not following. I miss a lot of the chat. People can be fun. I'm so glad that you guys are keeping yourselves entertained and talking to each other. I'd be down for laser tag. Who wants to do laser tag or huddle? I'd be down. Okay, so you get at that consistency where basically you can't see the water anymore, and yeah, it's just kind of coated, and you just want to leave that there for the the rest of the boiling time. So once that boiling is out, maybe give it another um, five minutes, and that'll equate to about thirty minutes of it marinating, roughly. And I'm just gonna cover it. By the way, um, I'm I'm trying to kind of lessen my impact on the environment. I'm trying to use less plastics and whatnot. And I know in Japan people love their saran wrap. Oh, it just boiled over. Yeah. So what I need to do there? So we we need to put um, uh, what you call it? A wooden spoon on the edge of the pot, and it won't boil over as much. Let's get, let's clean that up. Oh, be careful. Really hot. Okay, so what I was saying, I'm trying to open this up. At uh, IKEA, they sell these pot mats. Um, they're like made out of silicone, so they can be used in the microwave uh, and they clean really easy. Um, they're very um, strong against the like, heat, but they're very weak against like, you know, cutting up and stuff. Um, they were kind of expensive, maybe about mm, 1,500 yen, 15 bucks. You get three of them. But I use them so much instead of using plastic cling wrap. Um, I use it for everything and just clean them and reuse them. I love them. So I'm just going to keep that onto the side. You want to keep it somewhat chilled and let it do its thing. Let it marinate. Yo. All right. We had a little bit of spillage. I want to now show you the swing on over. Swing on over. Swing on over. Bang, bang. All right. Swing on over to the hobs to the, oops. it's not an earthquake, it's just me adjusting the camera angle. Okay, something like that. We'll do that. I don't want it over the actual um, steam and stuff as, even though this is IPX6, kind of waterproof, so don't want it to steam up too much. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cook my iPhone. All right, so I'm just letting that, um, let the timer go down on that. What we're doing now is we're breaking down the, the rice so that it becomes nice and soft. And later we're going to use a whisk to, to break it down even further so that the pro like the um the, the starchiness makes it a, a lot more thicker of a soup um kind of like like a stew yeah let me go back to the chat while we're letting this boil i'm going to turn on the fan on the lowest setting you guys let me know if the noise is bothering you okay and we'll turn on the fan there to redirect some of that um steam AJ is saying, an idea I wanted to suggest when I get to Japan was bubble soccer, if they have that. Yes, they do have that. In my old place at Shinosaka, there was, until recently, there was a futsal court called uh, Tsubasa Stadium. Captain Tsubasa Stadium. Captain Tsubasa Stadium. It's, it's based on a manga that is all about soccer. Oh, okay. That's right, an old, old manga. And they did have bubble soccer there. I did see it. So um, unfortunately, that place moved to another location, but I'm sure we could find it. Um, would like to do it with all you guys. This is when we are in the bubble suit and have to play soccer. I'd be down for that, dude, for sure. It comes out December 17th. Oh, what are we talking about? Are we talking about The Matrix or are we talking about um, Witcher 2? 
uh, JJ is saying around, they do have it, but it is expensive. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, guys, I'm going to uh, talk with each other. I'm going to go back in the chat and see if I can pull a few up up in the house. Um, so going back to Founder Japan's uh, comment about, you know, Siri getting called out. Uh, we were watching, I think was it Hawkeye or something? We, uh, we, uh, we watched the first two episodes of it. And there's a few words that will trigger Siri. And so halfway through the episode, like, hello. You know, like Siri was triggered and stuff. So I, I get that sometimes. But I've had my MacBook Siri kind of talk to the phone Siri. I've had that happen by chance. Uh, not on purpose, but totally by chance. He's got the power. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm reading Adrian's comment, but I'm not going to say it. I know what you're thinking though. Um, Found Japan saying, oh dude, speaking of movies, did you register at Toho Cinema to see Spider-Man in December? I did not. I did not. Um, Spider-Man, the new one. I did get, oh, do I have it here? I did get um, my Matrix discount tickets though. Come on. I'm going to show you guys on the main cam. Actually, no. I'll show you on the top down cam. Matrix Revolutions. So they have these discount ticket shops all over Japan that will sell like discount shops for Shinkansen's, the, the bullet train, or even normal trains. Until recently, because of coronavirus, they don't do that. You can buy movie tickets, and yeah, you just scratch this little code on the back, and then you can reserve your seat within. This was how much? 1,300 yen around there. Normally it can get up to up to 2,000, which is close to $20 US. Got it. Uh, maybe I'll do the same for Spider-Man. Uh, thank you for uh, reminding me though. But yeah, have any of you guys in Japan ever bought discount tickets? If so, let me know below. Oh, didn't know that. They're going to have a limited showing at 60 theaters on world release day rather than in January, but it's a lottery. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I don't, where can you get those? I wonder. Okay, cool, cool. Interesting. Uh, Anthony's saying, by the way, Mount Semeru volcano just erupted and thousands of villagers are now displaced. What? Where is that? Where is Mount Semeru? That sounds like a Japanese mountain. Semeru. Semeru san. But it's probably not Japanese. I, I don't know. Semeru san. You don't know? Okay. Wow. Name of a mountain that uh, Anthony was saying. Um, it's not popular, I guess, yeah. Adrian's hey, saying, what the deuce is bubble soccer? Do the bubbles have anything to do with the bubbles in beer? Um, what it is, have you ever heard of Zorbing? It's from New Zealand, where you get in this like big plastic, it looks like a big, you know those like um, plastic uh, packaging things that where you like punch the bubbles and like it's really satisfying? But it's like a big round sphere that you actually get into. Sometimes they put water in. And then you just roll around in it and you're like tumbling, tumbling, tumbling. Or if you're in the water, you can actually kind of keep your the horizontal um, positioning. But yeah, it's called like, and they have smaller ones where your head pops out, I think, right? Your head pops out, your legs are out, but everything around you is like a big bubble and you like bump into each other while you're trying to play things like soccer and whatnot. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, like a giant, giant hamster ball. That's it. Okay. Spider-Man, no way home. That looks amazing. Um, it's going to look amazing. Uh, Adrian's like, oh, so it's like teaching in high school. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, you're getting bumped around all the time. True. Uh, Chica, can you? Oh, actually, Mount Semeru. I'll, 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 because I'm waiting for this to boil. Semeru. Indonesia? Are you serious? Mount Semeru in Indonesia just erupted. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, dude. Oh my. Didn't know that. Okay. Woo. Crazy, crazy. I know Indonesia no Kazanga Fukan Funkashta. The young man in Dry. I didn't check. What she's asking is it Bali? I'm not, I don't think it's in Bali, is it? Wow, I'll, I'll check it out in more detail after the stream, guys, but yeah, that's crazy. Of the Island of Java. It's in Java. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Near Thank you for Jakarta? the. Is it near Jakarta? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know um, Audio uh, is from. That area, so I might know a little bit more than us. Um, I hope you're being you're safe there, though. Let us know. Well, if you're on the stream, I hope you're safe, or you, you should be. <laughs> Anyways, Founder Japan, we have until December 9th to register to see Spider Man in December. Otherwise, you have to wait. Okay. Well, it's just a five more days, so it is on the Toho site. 
I registered for the South Sakai Theater because I figured less people will register. Oh, good point. Oh, I didn't mean to to minimize your text there. Sorry, I meant to scroll down. Uh, Ario saying Gunung Semeru is in Indonesia. Yes. Um, I hope you're far away from it that it doesn't affect you so much. Okay, guys, that kanji is looking good. Looking good. Now, it, the recipe says put eight cups of water. I only put six because it would have overflowed the, um, the kanji itself. I'm afraid to put too much water in there, but I'm going to put a little bit more because it looks like it's getting kind of dry. So let me just get another, like, maybe half cup in there, in there just in case. I don't want it to, like, burn and dry out. However, it'll bring the temperature down, so we need to let it boil a wee bit longer. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, you guys like watching uh, my, my kanji congelate <laughs> here? Something about that. Something about that. Um, awesome, awesome. Hey, excellent. Everybody subscribe to everybody. Um, Con Colin is saying, I, I saw a made-for-TV movie called Lorelei at a test screening for free and even got a backplate and bumper sticker and stuff. Super otaku World War II movie. Did you see that in Japan? Well, obviously, it sounds like it. Interesting, interesting. You got a bumper sticker and stuff? Wow. Backplate and bumper sticker. Interesting. Lorelei. I wonder if I heard of that movie. Audio saying it's in East Java. Okay, okay. I hope you're far away from it so that you're not uh, in any danger. Yeah, we're all wishing you that you're you're uh, safe. Uh, Audio saying it's closer to Bali than Jakarta. So it's, it's closer there. Uh, John Kimchi says, how do you keep your kitchen so clean, especially your stove top? Uh, that's Chica. That's Chica's, um, Chica's the cleaner. Yeah, Chica's the cleaner. I'm the cooker. So... Yeah, it's kind of like the opposite of me and Khan and his wife, right? So I do all the cleaning, I all do the cooking, Chika does the cleaning, we both do the laundry. That's our common ground. Yeah? Me. <laughs> She's looking at me with this kind of smug favor. <laughs> right. Um, and also, Johnny Kimchi, this is quite a new, it's actually never been really used before, so I think they, when they renovated this place, it was uh, new. Yeah, but you know what you don't want to see inside? That microwave oven, you don't want to see inside there. Again, Chica is the cleaner. Do you guys have clean microwave ovens? Man, my stuff gets like all bits of everything in there. It's it's bad. And and I have a hard time cleaning it. But yeah, she's really good at that. So thanks for asking, dude. Um, let's go down to the chat. Um, yeah, everybody, uh, listen to Anthony Lockie saying the truth. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you are getting uh, value from this. Definitely, definitely. Yes. All right, all right. Adrian saying, I was thinking the same thing. Very clean stovetop. Yeah, actually, we had a little bit of spillage there, and Chico's like right on it. She got like the, the kitchen towel, the kitchen paper, and I'm like, be careful with your hands. Like, I'm gonna, I'm okay. Um, yeah, con exactly, right? He's like, simple. My wife messes it up, and I clean it up. Done deal. Right, right, right. Uh, it's not his home, Adlita and, and Chica. We are actually living in Ikea. Yeah, that's it. You know, uh, after hours, I think they close uh, at like eight now. So we're just like, you know, back door. I know all the little secret security codes. I had a friend who worked there. No, actually, the funny thing. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, we, you know, when I moved to Ikea, that should be a, a video clip. I'll put it like on Twitch or something. You know, me and Chica moved to Ikea. <laughs> Ikea from Shin Osaka. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine living in Ikea? Like, you would just live on the second floor though, right? Where all the, the showroom is. You would want to live in a warehouse. Um, I've seen some videos of people doing bad things in Ikea though. You know what I'm talking about. Let's not talk about it too much. But yeah. Um, but when we go to Ikea, yeah, sometimes, you know, you sit down in the little showroom and like you, you, you role play. Oh yeah, this is my kitchen and I'm, I'm cooking here. And oh, I'm the, I'm the president and I work in this nice office chair. And oh, you know. <laughs> Your stove looks like it's never been used. No, it's been used, but just not very much. We've, we've moved in like about a month ago, so not very much. I have used it from, uh, quite a bit, but yeah, she keeps it super clean. JJ, I'm quite far away and safe. Thank you. Awesome, awesome dude. Megumi and I have the same dynamic. I cook, she cleans. I want to hear this. Like, who... Who does what in the couple situation? Who does the cooking? Who does the cleaning? 
or maybe none of you do. I know um, some people are too busy to cook and stuff, so they just like buy and eat out all the time. But whatever, it's all good. Polar Express just finished. Time to get the kids to bed. Oh snap! All right, dude. Uh, might be back later. Yeah, hope to see you later, man. Thank you so much for always bouncing back when you can. Have a good one, Will. Everybody, boom, boom, boom. Let Will do his thing and do the dad job. Um, Adrian Lee is going to hope to see you soon, bud. Yes. What? Tony, you've never been to Ikea. You're missing out. All I got to say is two words. Ballroom. And I don't mean like social dancing, like Walt is a ballroom. Uh, maybe you're too, you're, you're too tall for it now. Um, when you're a kid, you go to Ikea and like, you go in the ballroom, man. Ballroom. Did you, did you go to the ballroom in I when you went to Ikea? I'll still be, I'll still be space, are you? Know? If I, she's like, ball about it. Oh my gosh, Chica's like the second person I, I know hasn't been in the ballroom. Ballroom, guys, right? Ballroom? Come on, come on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the mains. I gotta check how much time is left on the timer. Hey Siri, how much time left? the timer it says there's no timer set what i thought she what? said it what, what? okay pushing out again um see that's what happens when you get siri involved okay i have a feeling though i can just tell that can yeah can you check it i can tell that oh. it's pretty much ready to to do my thing mm -hmm. to do the next thing in the kanji all right let's let's bring it up let's go to the um kitchen cam kitchen cam all right i'm gonna i'm gonna adjust this i'm gonna be pro let's get that nice those nice oh come on okay maybe not <laughs> kitchen cam all right there you go that's a little bit more aligned okay by the way this is like a 100 yen daiso kind of foil screen that uh, you can set up so that it doesn't get splashing all over the place. Okay, Chica, thanks. You don't want to mix too much. If you mix too much, it will stick. Yeah. Hmm? Thanks. All right, so what we're doing next is we're gonna get a whisk and we're gonna whisk this up a bit another for another two or three minutes to uh, break up the rice even more. Where is the whisk? Here it is. Awesome, awesome. We've got the Mickey Mouse Whisk people. Oh, we're glitching. Glitching, glitching. Glitching in the matrix. We got the Mickey Mouse Whisk. Oh, yeah. Mickey Mouse Whisk doing his thing. All right. Can we get the top down going? No? Ah. Uh, this is. Yeah. Did you see? Oh, did you see? I did see. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're back in action. Can't get this thing straight. There we go. All right. So you gotta whisk it pretty vigor vigorously, vigorously. And the point is, for about two to three minutes, you wanna break up the rice even more so that it adds to the smooth texture of the. Um, thing. Now, at this point, you can turn the heat down to really low. I'm just gonna take it, take it down off the heat. And then you wanna kinda of break down that rice. Give it some good elbow grease there, you know what I'm saying? While I'm doing that, um, yeah, I'm gonna read your comments. JJ saying, no, do a segment like Cribs, but filming in Ikea if you can, you know. <laughs> I don't watch Cribs that much, I'll have to review it. JK is like, my idea has been to live stream inside, inside Ikea. I think you can, for sure. You know, unless you're single like me. Yeah, I know, Tony, you're waiting for the day. You're waiting for the day. But until then, I will say this. Women like guys who can cook. So keep in mind. Um, JJ saying, I'm all about clean as you go. I worked in a kitchen for two years. Yes, man. Food safe, people. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Uh, I do both cooking and cleaning. I see what you're saying. Uh, JJ saying, Ikea is like going to church for me. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's hilarious. That is really funny. Paul, Paul is saying, LOL. Hey, that's true. Tekito, te you're correct. Now he's saying, when I was young, my grandma put sweet potato in okayu. Eh, I didn't know that, sweet potato. It sounds strange for you guys, uh, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I've never thought of sweet potato in there. Okay, this is breaking down quite nicely. Nice. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm actually going to use the, I'll use this guy as my little placeholder thingy. Okay, so now we can start putting in um, chicken. That's the next component. 
Uh, I think what they also put in is a little bit more. Actually, you can put it at the end. You can put a little bit more of this, this seasoning and stuff. But let's get that chicken in there. And you don't want to dollop it all the way in. Actually, you want to start to bring the heat back up. And they said it should take another two to three minutes of it to boil again. But you want to kind of. How can I say? Actually, I should probably use chopsticks. You want to space it out so that it's all not clumped. I'm doing a really bad job because I, I should use the chopsticks. Hold on a second. All right. And I got these nice chopsticks from the Daiso. Got the tomato and orange and red for the meat. Yes. Okay. So you, it's almost like a shabu shabu in a way. You're going to let the chicken kind of cook in that really, really hot stuff there and kind of swish it around a little bit as you're adding it in. And while, yeah, while they're doing that, the, the heat is making it go back to boiling temperature. You want to, oh, no, oh, oh. You don't want to do that. That's what you're not supposed to do. Yeah, you don't want to clump. Kind of give it, give it space. Give it room to cook, room to breathe. Look bad with that one. There we go. Yeah, that's all clumped up. Because you want to give it, yeah, even heat all around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Chica, the back backseat chef, is like, it's okay, it's okay. You pa you're gonna pass. Huh? Imagine, imagine. Mm -hmm. Test, test, oh, she point, she point, she know. Imagine, imagine. I can't see. I, I, I can't see anything. Can't say anything. Right, right. Okay, so um, let me take off now these comments. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. Um, it's been twenty minutes already. Yeah, I think it has. He's about to turn green and say, "Little smash." Mm -hmm. Yes, this okayu uh, is way more than 20 minutes because the okayu is now um, almost like a pure on porridge. I'm going to add just a wee bit more water and I'll add the chicken broth now as well. Yeah, let's add the mix. Oh, not the chicken broth. Uh, maybe add the soy sauce. And this is also kind of tekiro. Actually, what did they use? They used, um, they say soy sauce, but um, I also like putting in Usta sauce, oyster sauce. And I'm going to take you to it right there. Just a little bit. Just to add flavor. Okay? Take you to Yeah. I'm supposed to put in all the chicken at first, but that'll give it a nice uh, flavoring there as well. And then finally, you're going to put in that ginger and myoga as well. Okay? You can see it's starting to boil a bit now. So what this uh, marinating is let the flavor lock in and the starch allows the outside oh what's going on glitching 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 the outside to kind of um, sorry guys it's kind of glitching there again well you can whoa oh I just kind of like energized in there did you see that what's going on oh it's glitching okay let's just let's go on the mains for a second sorry guys I'm really Apologize for that. Can't find that USB hub thingy. I'm still here with you. Is the audio cutting in and out or is it just the video? You guys let me know. I am putting the rest of the chicken in there and letting it boil a bit. That's gonna cook it nicely. Okay, I am starting to smell a bit of the burn at the bottom. Yeah, it's because I, I, I think I left it on too long. That was the problem. I had first time. Come on, Siri! I thought you were on the timer thingy. Right, hey guys. All right, but it's gonna be fine. I can eat the way that bird stuff. Okay. Let's see if I can reconnect the phone. Coming back. Lido, is that the plug that comes with the iPhone? No, that's not the plug that comes with That's a third party one. Um, I usually don't have problems with this. I think it's because the USB hub is supposed to be a powered hub and uh, it's not powered right now. I couldn't find the right adapter for it. So, yeah, it doesn't want to play noise. 
doesn't want to play nice. It could also be the steam that's coming into the phone. Hold on, let me take it off the, the hob area there. But yeah, it's not coming up on the uh, ECAM software. Which it was coming up before. Right, just give me a second. I'll really let that boil a bit more. Hmm. Weird. Weird! Welcome to Cooking with the Invisible Chef! <laughs> That's right. The Invisible Chef, he's never with you. Um, is it? No. Still not going. Ah, snap. I think it, it finally gave out. Hold on, hold on. And while while my, my cooking burns, right? Okay, I'm gonna put the last of the ginger and stuff on it. Here we go. You guys can imagine what it looks like. <laughs> and you just fold it in. You just fold it in. It's a Shit's Creek reference, by the way. Just fold it in. All right. Okay, you should see the the chicken actually turn color, and uh, there might be a little bit of like red when you bite into it, but I think that's going to be okay. It's not completely raw. It's still quite cooked really well because uh, it's really, really hot. It's super hot, actually. And you're letting the ginger just kind of heat up and soften up in there. Um, it's going to be really nice. Really nice. All right. Let's... Yeah, hold on. I'm just looking at the iPhone. iPhone? Okay. The iPhone's not working. Mm -hmm. All right, let me check it out. No. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Lido and Chica. Yes. No, the iPhones... It could be the cable, you're right. Um, I don't think so, though. Because it was working until now. I, I don't think that's a problem, Chica. Thanks, though. Yeah, it's... But it's not recognizing it. So in this case, what I would do is I would actually stop the stream and restart the software. But that, what that'll do is it'll, it'll um, stop the stream. So I don't want to do that, right? Okay. Looks like we're just about done here. So, but maybe that's what I need to do. Um, just give me a second here. Yeah, it is a little chaotic. You totally, totally got it here. Um, that's done. It's done, Mike. It's done. But the iPhone's also done, it seems. Like, it's showing up, but it won't show anything on the screen. Weird. And while it can be kind of finicky, um, I've never had it this bad before. Never, never had that glitch out problem before, so. All right, guys. Well, tell you what. Um, we've got a whole bunch of people on here. I do want to keep you guys but I want to show you what the final product looks like. So I will kind of, maybe I should do a, a quick reboot of the stream. And then, uh, yeah, if you guys can come on again, I would really appreciate it. So you guys can see what it looks like, have a taste uh, while we're having some drink and food. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna uh, restart this software. I don't know if I if I just quit it, if it will, um, re try to connect to the stream the stream stops the pump gets fixed the stream restarts the food burns <laughs> oh i'm gonna try to stop oh well the food is already off the heat right now so we gotta eat that so let me restart real quick okay guys see you on here again thanks it stopped already <laughs>